there's yeah, a reason yeah. why this big giant moat is trying to be erected around particular thinkers in the world, like this this far right, this alt right, this this moat of like, oh well, that's bad. You can't listen to those people. They're automatically evil. They're automatically wrong. They're automatically bad. And there's a reason for that, which is that, I mean, some stuff that the left wants. Well, I want it too. <laughs> you know, I mean, I really, really dislike this, you know, Wall Street hyper stock market driven pseudo economy. It's bullshit and it harms yeah, the it folks is. and it's predatory upon the middle class and it's very predatory upon the poor. I want people to get their goddamn communities back. I hate this I, isolation I, and atomization of the welfare state. I think it's, you know, getting stuff is not much when you lose your soul, you lose your community, you lose your neighborhood, you, everything is is done from that standpoint. Uh, I really hate this imperialistic stuff, this world policeman bullshit, this uh, 750 military bases around the world. And uh, so there's a lot of stuff that the left have issues with that like I'm right there with them in terms of, of goals, you know, objectives, probably not so, I mean, I guess tactics, uh, not not so much. So I do, I do think that this polarization of thought is really tragic. Where there are people on conservatives say, "Oh, the radical lefts—they're all you know this crazy." And it's like, no, they they have some some stuff that's important to talk about. They have some stuff that is important to say. You have in every group there are crazy people. In every group there are a bit, there are bad people. I mean, literally, there was the the uh, the. Um, get together the the rally in charlottesville and this guy plows into the leftist protesters or the counter protesters and i mean he's diagnosed schizophrenic he's on some psychotic meds and uh, anti-psychotic meds i mean th this is you can't judge the movement by that guy and you can't judge all leftist criticisms of society by you know people stabbing horses with sticks so i do right, think that right, right. there are decent people in almost every movement who want good things, decent things. It's a very much a platitude, but there are things that we can agree on. The question is, what is the ethics of how to achieve it? And what specifically do we want to achieve? Promoting a giant government to take care of corporations when corporations are children of the government is not going to work. And collectivizing all property, having centrally central control of prices and, and the means of production, that's tyranny. Everybody has to recognize that's not the way to go. So I think just making them the pure enemy. Um, I, I have been very critical of the left. I've been somewhat less critical of the right, but also I have a bit of a, you know, the right to me has been pretty hard done by and lied about. Uh, and the left has all the power. So I have a bit more of a sympathy for the underdog. And the right is a little bit more original these days. The left seems to be a little bit kind of repeating the same chants and platitudes, you know, hey, hey, ho, ho. No, no, this is not, <laughs> this is not a syllogism. So I think that if they want good things and they have bad information, then I think we solve that by giving them better information. If they want bad things and they need an ideological cover, like if they're just they're mean, they're sadist, they're violent, they're brutal, they're traumatized, they're addicted, they're criminals, but they don't want to look in the mirror and see a criminal. They want to see a freedom fighter for the underclass, you know, then they want to put on this uh -huh. superhero cape of bullshit in order to cover up a merely sadistic or psychopathic or sociopathic or criminal nature. Well, there's nothing we can do with those people, I think, because they don't want what we want. They don't want what decent people want. They want what they want is at the expense of decent people. But um, mm -hmm. there are people who genuinely want good things and have been given bad information. And when they're given better information, it may take a while. I mean, you know, very few people change on a dime. But there is a curiosity. And of course, you would be one of those people, right? Because you wanted good things. The movement that you were in proved not only unable to deliver them, but seemed to be heading in the wrong direction completely. And when you brought up reasonable arguments against particular positions, well, I guess you'd seen what happened to some people ahead of time, uh, you know, with the cream pies and pepper uh, in, in the face and all of that. And you wanted good things for the world. You recognized that the path that you were on wasn't going to get you there, it was taken in the opposite direction. So you changed course. There are a number of people out there who will do that. And what that will do, it will do if we can sort of rescue people from this bad path. And, you know, I want to reinforce to people who are leftists who are listening to this and watching this. First of all, thank you. I mean, this is hard to listen to a lot of people for a lot of people. 
But the purpose then is not to join Steve or, or me or conservatives. It's to think for yourself, right? To, to evaluate your data. Yes, to, yes, yes. Yeah, to evaluate your data. Please, please, the opposite of one gang is not another gang. <laughs> the opposite of the left is not the right. The opposite of the right is not the left. The opposite of both of these is thinking for yourself. And you don't want to take anyone as an authority. You don't want to accept everyone's say-so uh, because of charisma or humor or reputation. You you must get the data and, and think for yourself because if we can get more people out of the radical left, then the more feral nature of those who remain will become more and more evident. And I think that's really the only way to discredit some of the more extreme elements.